All right, so this video is a quick little video on what's going on with standard capacity magazines here in California. Um, these are all 30 round mags. So Duncan v. Bonta, that is a case that deals um, with California's ban on standard capacity magazines here in California. Um, standard capacity magazines or any magazine that holds more than 10 rounds. So anything with 11 or more, California has prohibited and banned people from processing and manufacturing, transferring, all that good stuff. This case has gone through the Ninth Circuit um, and made its way up to the Supreme Court. They sent it back to the Ninth Circuit. The Ninth Circuit sent it back to the District Court in Southern California where Roger T. Benitez is a judge that heard this case and gave his opinion in 2019. So for one full week in California, we were able to buy, sell, transfer, manufacture, import magazines that hold more than 10 rounds. Um, so yeah, a lot of people took advantage of that and stocked up. So am I getting rid of my magazines? I'm not getting rid of my magazines. Not just because of what's going on and all that, but I, I mean, I wasn't planning on getting rid of it. Uh, I mean, my home defense, 19 plus one, I can't go back to 10 rounds. <laughs> but anyways, um, Roger T. Benitez, the judge is the one that originally heard this case back in 2019. Um, San Diego County gun owners posted this on Instagram and I'm gonna read the highlighted por portion, okay? The previously entered preliminary injunction in joining enforcement of California Penal Code 32310 for magazines able to hold more than 10 rounds shall remain in effect for all those who previously acquired possessed magazines legally, including those persons and business entities who acquired magazines between March 29, 2019 and April 5th 2019 pending further order of this court so there you have it um, if you're not sure what to do I'm not telling you what to do if you're not sure what to do um, contact an attorney or maybe contact one of these pro Second Amendment organizations that deal with this type of stuff maybe they could give you some legal advice or legal guidance but I'm, I don't plan on getting rid of my magazines. Uh, I don't plan on getting rid of them. That's just what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick little update. Um, Roger T. Benitez is gonna be hearing the case one more time. Based on what other people are saying, he's gonna push these cases on a little bit faster pace than usual. Um, well, he already heard them once and he ruled in favor of the Second Amendment, so I don't see why. Um, I mean, what's, what's, what's the hold up, you know? But yeah, um, thanks to San Diego County gun owners that posted that. As far as standard capacity magazines go here in California, I personally think this law is not gonna stick for much longer, like maybe a couple more years, um, but probably even faster than that, I don't know. Uh, anyways, I don't plan on getting rid of my magazines. Um, every time I go to the sh shooting range, I take those magazines with me. I know a lot of people kind of like, keep them a secret or they leave them at home and they take their 10 round mags to the shooting range. I carry them everywhere. Actually, that's even what's on my nightstand. This is a 19 plus one. Um, if I go to the shooting range, I take my 30 round mags for my AR or for my AK, um, or not my AR actually, because that's a fixed mag, but I do have 30 round mags for the AR. But every time I'm shooting the AK, uh, since it's featureless, I'm running 30 round mags. Um, so yeah, um, that's what I plan on doing. If you're not confident, I mean, contact contact an attorney or one of these pro Second Amendment organizations. Maybe they can help you out. But yeah, um, that's the update for Duncan v. Bonta. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.